installation of the one two rang on the Ratu Etonia Seru Rokotuna Weber brought many people together to witness the traditional event that happened at Lebuka Wakabiti village after 31 years. His late father, Ratu Colinio Rokotuna Weber, was the last to be installed as Tuilevuka in 1993. History says that the first Tuilevuka in 1840 made friends with early traders who arrived from other countries, and these included the well known David Wippy, who later married Andi Tokasa, the daughter of the first Tuilevuka. Known to be the founder of Levuka town before he shifted to Mua in Vanua Levu following tribal war, Mr. Wippy's descendants have kept their relationship with the Chief Lee family and they too attended the traditional Chief Lee ceremony. Mr. Wippy's namesake, David Seru Wippy, who also shares the same name, Seru, with Tui Levuka, traveled from Australia and represented the family that contributed financially and also donated food for the event. The Trail and Patterson families also contributed towards this chiefly event. The Trail family who were there for a week and still have their piece of land behind the village spent a day with the Tuilebuka where they talked about memories of growing up together. We were sent here on holidays, we were school holidays, and we were growing up as kids, so we spent a lot of time. Um, all our cousins here, There's some of our other cousins who were born and bred here, they unfortunately didn't come on this trip with us, uh, but we came to visit the two of them. I always think about the, the word that was given to the two people that come on the line, which is father of the Europeans. So we are probably a modern day example of that that is still happening today because we are the only um, Portuguese family there who go away to school. Our land is there. We came yesterday, went and visited our land. We are aware all our parents were born and bred. Our grandfather, William James Trail, um, lived most of his life, or all of his life there. Wamara Geti na mwani to, na mwana kilari, kena mwana kilari. Also tata unawa mwaka kima, na mwana mbulo na mwana romo, kena mwana kilari. Na wano ole muka, e umani ki na itinka rua, na kena e usa. A rauta ni hima na undolu, jiwa na mrao, wasa wano tolu, toba wana eka, na kena uma mwile na kena uma. Era mula ki utina, era lewe, sol na undolu, wana mrao, hima kuna ulu kwa wana, na uba wana lewe na. Na soa na tuwa jale nyamu, na soa na tuwa jale nyamu. When the installation of Ratu Etonia happened, people asked about the traditional connections with Namosi after seeing the twin Namosi Ratu Suliano Matani Tomboa arrived in Levuka with his people. Questions were also raised about the connection to Solevu in Boa, as they traditionally installed to Levuka. According to Andi Paulini Tangi Betawa, who traveled from Solevu village and whose nephew, Tubiko Tangi Betawa, installed Ratu Etonia, said there were three brothers who traveled from Verata Uvuni Panua in Tailevu in the early days. One had set sail from Boa the other to Lebuka and the third to Namosi. And the three brothers' descendants have kept their connections, which is known as the Nambukembuke. <laughs> Ma ini kurang ambil, 
Anguli na wetu maasawa Iti kumai na hivao Anguli na wali ura na kiliku Ale vipande ari nirmai Na ura ngole wani Mera leso area ura na Mabuduko Yang kumibar Ra ingin Kami Umai garap itu dia. Segeruan itu umai bang dan berak orang lain. Ima itu abang dan berak na keinginan singa di pulau Batam. Ini kan jiwa, jiwa sangat jiwa. Jiwa yang bersih bagi anggaran ini. We also interviewed the rocker to Ivuma, Usaya and the Lainriti, also known to be Rangase, Ni Mata Vuvale, for the Chifli clan, and he shared the story about the wife of the first Trilevuka. He said that the Tulevuka in the 1800s had no wife. So he decided to go out to sea and on a mbilo niangona or a coconut shell, wrote a message that whichever single woman that find the mbilo would become his wife. This mbilo he set out to be carried by the waves to any parts of Fiji. Unfortunately, Mr. Ndelain Driti said, the woman who found the Mbilo in Verata Uzunibanua was only a primary school aged girl. So the village elders of Verata Uzunibanua also saw the cup and brought her back to Vuma village where they kept her and fed her and groomed her to become the wife of the Trinibuka when she turned 16. In Vuma village, the villagers will also show you the white sandy beach that's called Verata because they believe this is where this wife of the Trilevuka arrived with her elders from Uzunibanua when they took her over to Levuka with the Mbilo she found.